Drugs used to treat arthritis are being tested as possible treatments for critical coronavirus cases. Despite promising signs, doctors say it is too early to draw firm conclusions. Meanwhile, a U.S. epidemiologist has called COVID-19, quote, the worst pandemic in a century, as antibody tests reveal large numbers of people have caught the virus without being diagnosed. But Taiwanese expert Dr. Huang Liming says influenza should still be considered the top viral threat. COVID-19 cases in the U.S. are still rising fast. Results from coronavirus antibody tests have started to appear, and they suggest more than 10 times as many people are catching COVID-19 as the official case numbers. Although the mortality rate is not that high, it is much higher than the flu. Some scientists are calling it the worst virus in a century. The worst virus of the century is influenza. We shouldn't overlook the flu. It's still the eternal champion. But the new coronavirus is certainly very serious. It's almost as bad as the flu. It's the biggest challenge we've seen in 30 years. Huang points the mortality rate of the flu, just 0.1 percent. The mortality rate of COVID-19 was originally estimated around 3 percent. That continues to fall, with scientists now positing a mortality rate below 1 percent. Meanwhile, tests are underway on two more possible treatments, Actemra and Kevzara, both currently used to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Interleukin-6 inhibitors have been used before for patients with critical pneumonia. They were used in Taiwan for a patient with critical bird flu, and he was saved. It can help in some situations. If you use it properly, the side effects are minimal. The only problem is it's expensive. So we can try using it in some situations and see how it goes. But it hasn't undergone clinical trials, so it's not going to be indicated generically. The Central Epidemic Command Center says this type of drug has already been tested. Its main function is inhibiting part of the immune response. Patients haven't seen adverse effects, but with a small test sample, results are hard to evaluate. Further tests are needed to draw firmer conclusions.